So in this lesson, we're going to add the sidebar header and do a little redesign. So how do we do that? Well, there is a layout uh, component here that provide us with all that. So let's take a look. So, um, well, let's see the one that fits us. I think this one is good for us. So let's pick this. All right. Hmm. A lot of code. Let's copy it. Uh, let's go here. Then let's add it. Now let's move our already existing stuff into the content. Okay, then let's import a footer. First, let's import uh, a layout. And then let's check it out. Yeah, so we put the layout and then we import uh, the others to form it. So header, content, footer, sidebar, or form layout and then import menu okay it seems we've already imported layout so then we import menu and then import the sub menus to from it all right there is another one uh, I, there are some icons that we need to import yeah so let's copy these two let's import them all right, let's go. Let, yeah, there is another one we need to import the bread crumb. Okay, let's check it. Yeah, that one too comes from Aunt D. So we import this as well. Let's check it out. Okay, it seems like there are some errors. So, for example, this dot state dot collapsed is uh, we are not using the uh, class component, so this is not uh, going to be used. And also on collapse, all right. So let's see the way we can find all the this dot. Okay, just these. Okay, so let's take a look at how these are being defined here. So the on collapse is a um, function, and then this is a state. So we will convert that here. So we're going to use a state to collapse some of the sets collapse. Going to be true or false, or by default is false. So let's get rid of this put a const here then going to pass this to it let's check let's change it so all right now let's go here and just remove that this this one too let's remove the this dot state and we should be okay all right okay so i guess that's it we have our stuff so we will what we do we will remove these here and remove the breadcrumbs too so let's remove the breadcrumb from here and then the menu, uh, let's remove the menu items. We'll later see how we can do navigation in there. Okay, so we have something nice going on. So, yeah. Yeah.
we have something nice here we can make this uh, and toggle the collapse here as well so let's add and we get something in the table um, regarding this I want to rather push it here to the right side so we're going to change this to we're going to have a, a div put it in it and let's change let's do some styling on it so display will be flex And uh, what we will do is justify content space between. And what I will do is I'm going to put one div here and another div here so that both of them will be spaced. To the extreme left and right and then in this day we add this i'm going to add some stuff in here later on so let's check it out all right i think we can add a margin to this so margin bottom let's make it a 20. okay so we get a nice looking page um, I think we can change the header style. Let's see if there's a way we can do that. Hmm. Um, see that there's a class that was provided site layout background uh, white. So instead of redoing the class, we will just do a style. So let's remove this. Sorry. Let's remove this and add a background. So it's and I think that should work. Yeah. So get a nice looking page. All right. Oh, at this moment, what I want to do is in the next lesson, we are going to integrate Redux. And what we will do is whenever we add a contact, it will rather go into Redux and then uh, the component will pull from Redux and then display them. So in the next lesson, we will integrate Redux.